I think it's important that people understand what is artificial intelligence. I want to discuss the three main components of it because my intention here is to really educate people. I've been doing AI research in a very deep way since I was 14 years old, what you today call machine learning, and then my work at MIT, and then ongoing after that. So what I share with you comes from not only theory, but actual practice. And then in a profound way, having deployed some of the earliest AI systems, particularly for some of the largest Fortune 1000 companies between 1993 to 2003 and currently. And what I had come to conclude in the middle of my PhD, Mike, was that all of these little fiefdoms of scientific research were doing their own little siloed version of three fundamental processes, which are the fundamental processes of artificial intelligence, or what I call pattern recognition. So I want everyone to listen carefully. What is AI and what are those three processes? The first process is called feature extraction. The second process is called clustering. And the third process is called learning. Feature extraction, clustering, and learning. And this is really the foundation of, frankly, intelligence. Simple example, as human beings, if you believe we evolved, let's assume you believe that for a second. How did we evolve? Our evolution was fundamentally based on building this intelligent capability to recognize patterns and make very important decisions about those patterns. And then we learned from them. And this was the basis of human culture. Give you an example. Let's say all three of us were out in the woods and a snake is coming at you, you have to make a decision. Let's say I'm going to be sort of facetious here, whether you're going to pet the snake or whether you're going to run from it. <laughs> and Todd, you may, let's say someone else may see the snake and they decide to pet it and we're watching. They go, oh, he died. Well, we may realize, oh, that snake had a diamond head. Okay, avoid those. The next day we see a different kind of snake. Maybe it's a small snake with a brown coloring and someone pet it was fine. Maybe it's, you call it a gardener snake. And through this process over time, we start recognizing features. Features are key that it's called the art of AI or the art of pattern recognition. One feature may be the shape of the head of the snake. One is the speed at which it moves. One is the length of the snake. One may be spots. So now you have four features. And over time, people started creating categories of these features, right? And that you call clusters, clustering. Okay, if a feature was diamond shaped and this and this and this poisonous, this friendly, okay? And the learning piece of it, the third part of it would be there would be events where something wouldn't fit those categories. Maybe there was a beautiful green snake that was actually under certain conditions poisonous. So over time, people went through this process. They had certain features, which they learned. They had clusters, groups, and then they had a learning model. So feature extraction, the clustering, and the learning were the foundations of pattern recognition or AI. Now, this has existed since 1960s and 1970s, Mike and Todd. And the way that this process would go is the feature extraction was something that was built over time. The clustering was categories that you built based on either business needs or decision making making needs. But the learning was very, very important. The learning fit two types of learning models. One was called supervised learning and the other was unsupervised. But let's start with supervised learning. Supervised learning is where you need enough data where you would start having an expert say, oh, this type of categories is poisonous. These types of categories is non-poisonous. We need to build a bottoms up movement. Go to shivaforpresident.com and volunteer.